Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my five most essential and go-to tools in Adobe Illustrator. These are the tools which I use almost every day, whether I'm designing a product packaging or doing any sort of artwork. Some of these were also introduced to me after almost a year of using Illustrator. And watch till the end for a bonus tip. All right, now let me show you my most used and essential tools in Illustrator. Tool number one, the Shape Builder tool. This is how it looks like. This is my number one go-to tool, whether designing a logo or customizing shapes. And this tool really comes in handy. The shortcut for this tool is Shift plus M. There are endless possibilities for customizing shapes with this tool. And I mainly use this for customizing logo, icon, word mark, and also while creating a unique symbol just with simple circles. Let me show you how this is used. Okay, so here we have our Illustrator open. And this is our toolbar um, as I think you know this is the toolbar. Then our, you will find the shape builder tool right here. So you left click on it or even right click and select it. And if you don't want to do that, just press shift and M. So then you enable the shape builder tool. And basically you need to first select the object. Here we have some random objects. You need to first select the object and then go on to shape builder tool and then start customizing these shapes. So as you can see, the mouse pointer has this um plus sign to it um that's for the that's um on default and if you press alt or you keep pressing alt then it turns into minus sign basically this denotes if you want to add the shape like much both the shapes or you want to subtract the shapes let's say for this red and um this blue color we want to subtract the shape so i hold alt down and just drag it over with left click and i leave everything and this is what it does just like magic and for example if you want to combine both of these shapes you will go to shape builder tool or press shift and m and then you will just drag it over the left mouse button and there you go you've made a very interesting unique uh, shape and yeah there are there is endless possibilities with what you can do with this tool do try this out and come up with very interesting shapes tool number two the pencil tool I know you all must be familiar with the pen tool in Illustrator, which is pretty common. And uh, but this is the pencil tool. I kid you not, I got to know about this tool like two months ago, and since then I haven't stopped using it. It's crazy how good this tool is and how it can change the way your design looks. Really, let me show you how it's done. So we're gonna start from scratch. Let's type something like, um, "Hello." <laughs> I know, pretty weird. No, let's type something like fat, okay, or fit. And we will just change the font because I don't know there's something going on here. We'll just have something very simple. Um, I guess this is fine. This works for now. So, okay, cool. So we have our font here. We have our uh, typography here. What we are going to do is to use the pencil tool, we need to expand the typeface. So we'll go to object and we'll click on expand and we'll click on OK. So now this has expanded. And if you press A, you can see all the nodes. You can change however you want them to change. But before that, you're going to just right click and ungroup it. Now each letter has its individual group. Perfect. Now we're going to go to pencil tool. The pencil tool will be right here. It'll be right here. You have to right click and select the pencil tool or you can press, you can simply press N on your keyboard. Now what you're going to do is, uh, again, even for this tool, you need to select the shape first, which you want to edit or customize. Then you select pencil tool or press N. Then you're going to uh, make sure you draw a line attaching with one node and which is ending to the other node or is just completing the shape. So see, just like that, this is a complete shape. I don't need to attach it. And just like that with ease, I have customized it. If I want this area to look something like this, I'll quickly do this. See, I know this looks very bad, but it's just, I'm just trying to show uh, what all you can do with the pencil tool. Suppose you want to customize this top part, select it, press N for pencil tool, go your and boom there you go now you see i haven't attached it correctly to uh, the path so i'll just control z it and i'll repeat the process again you can even start from your you go you go and then you make sure you attach it perfect um yeah 
there are a lot of things you can do for example let's take the team you press n and you go your and boom there you go that looks pretty good yeah so you select it i'm just having fun here <laughs> It is pretty fun, you know, like once you start using it. See, so simply how I made it um, so customizable. You can use this for logo designs to not make it look very boring uh, to have typography. You know, this can also be like a Halloween theme font, which you make. So endless possibilities again. And it's just very fun to use. And if you master it, you're going to get really, really good at uh, customizing typography or even shapes. Uh, Okay, let's move on to the next tool. And the third tool is Smooth Tool. This tool really goes well with the previous one, which was the Pencil Tool. And it's basically a tool just to smoothen out irregular lines or paths. And maybe if you have a lot of nodes in one line, you just apply the Smooth Tool over it and it will reduce the number of nodes to make the line pretty smooth. Uh, let me show you how to use Smooth Tool and the previous one, Pencil Tool together. Okay, so this is uh, what we did in with the previous tool. Uh, here, what I'm noticing some problems that this line here is a little irregular and even I don't like the the curve this, uh, this path has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Smooth Tool, which is right below the Pencil Tool and there is no shortcut for that. So you'll have to select it and uh, you will uh, find your cursor will change to something like this then all you need to do is left click and drag over the line you want to smoothen out so and you can keep doing this as long as you are happy with what you have come up with so i wanted it to flow smoothly towards the t so that's what i've done and even your it's it's a bump is a little heavy what i'm going to do is i'm going to just trace it over it and just make sure the line has become pretty smooth yeah i'm pretty happy with that so this is how you can use the smooth tool and there are also other uses where i'll show you one more for example you make something like this okay suppose this is a shape and you want you want this sharp edge to be curved you can use smooth tool here as well just select it and just go over it so you see how the sharp edge has become smooth even here you can just go over it so this this tool will take uh, a bit of a practice you will need to get used to it and it's best to use it with a pencil tool because once you're customizing the typography or any shape you need to make sure that every line and every curve is just looks right visually not necessarily not necessarily should have to be mathematically correct but visually should look right okay that was the smooth tool on to the next one okay tool number four type in path this is a tool I think you all must be knowing already and everyone should practice this daily because the more you practice the more you get good at it. So basically this tool allows you to customize typography and fit it in any shape or any path or even in irregular line be it any circle or triangle or any path you have created this tool can help you make your designs look very interesting and add a lot of character to it i use this tool a lot uh, while designing posters emblems especially stickers and even sometimes for my instagram post the uses are endless it's all about how creative you can be with any tool and this creativity comes only with practice okay so let's see how to use this tool all right so let us create a circle right here so a fairly big circle and instead of putting it in fill we're gonna put it in stroke perfect so here we have our circle uh, in stroke right here and um, what we are gonna do is we're gonna use the type in path tool which is right here you'll find it in the text path uh, in the text toolbar uh, and the third option type in path tool uh, and basically what you're gonna do is for this tool you don't need to pre-select any object or any path you can just go over it and just select it so as soon as i went over the path it highlighted into blue so it got selected and i can apply the type in path over it so i will just simply left click on it and there you go it was that simple so you can type anything this is few moments later it is yeah i'm just uh, typing something random okay so your and you have a lot of customization options so this is what i've typed but i feel like i want this to complete the entire circle just select it and increase the size that's one way you can do it or you can also increase the tracking and coordinating of it because the more the space the letters will take the more area it will cover 
you just increase it till where you feel like okay that's enough it shouldn't be confused is this so it should start with where you want it to maybe you can also just create like a dash here you know so like you know this is the break line and this is where it starts from so yeah and a lot of things you can do uh there is uh this bar right here you can hold and put it inside so if you want the, all the text to come inside the circle you can do that you can move it around here with this and a lot of fun stuff you can do just try this out and you know just wait work your way around it on to the next one tool number five artboard tool yes i know you didn't expect this tool to be there in the list i guess some people don't even know that this tool exists i myself didn't know about this tool for like uh, a few months but i promise this artboard tool is more helpful than you think it is the shortcut key of this tool is shift plus o and please do remember this shortcut especially because um i never have used the artboard tool from the toolbar i always press shift and o shift plus o to use the artboard tool so basically what this tool does is when you activate it it puts you in the artboard mode and in the artboard mode you can customize you can change the artboard's position you can scale it up you can make a duplicate of it you can resize it okay enough talking let me just show you how you can use it in different ways okay so as you can see this is an artboard and we only have one artboard here in the entire page what we're going to do is here is the artboard tool it's right above the fill there's the hand tool and right above that is the artboard tool and as you can see you can also press shift plus o that's the best way and as soon as i press shift plus o uh, it went into the artboard mode uh, it selected the artboard which was the only artboard we have and also shows the number key this is the one number one and artboard one what you can do is you can move it around here and there up down wherever you want you can also pre keep pressing alt left click and drag and make a duplicate of it and also while you're making a duplicate make sure you press shift so you want to align so see this is my artboard now when i press shift it got aligned to the previous one so make sure that your shift is pressed that's one way you can also select both and make a duplicate of it down with the same way shift and alt okay uh, another thing you can do when you are in artboard mode, you can resize any artboard. So you have to just select one. I can increase the size of it to however I want. I can reduce the size of it to how much ever I want. So what will happen if you reduce the size of it and if the design is going outside and then you try to increase and then you try to move it, the design will also move with the artboard. Just make sure uh, whatever you have designed in it doesn't get affected while you're shifting the artboards and also make sure the designs you have in the artboard are unlocked when you're shifting it. For example, you select this uh, to lock any object, just press control, uh, control two. Now, if I want to move this artboard, I will just simply move it. But what happened is the design will lock. The design was locked and it couldn't move. So. Just make sure you press Ctrl, Alt and 2 to unlock it and then you press Shift and O and then you can move the artboard. I know a lot of controls are there but just keep in mind to move, to go into the artboard mode, Shift and O. That's all you need to remember. Okay, that's all and those were the five tools. Thanks for watching. What? Oh, you watched it till the end. Oh, you want a bonus tip? I got you. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, the bonus tool is the star tool. Honestly, I don't think a lot of people use this tool and that's why I kept it in the like the bonus tool. But if you want to seamlessly create very unique shapes and patterns and this tool can really come in handy. It's not only used to make just stars, but there is more to it. Let me show you. Okay, so to find the star tool, it's under our shape tools, which is the rectangle circle. Here you will find the star tool. There is no shortcut. You can just go and click. And once you have selected it, you left click and drag it and there you go obviously it creates a star but uh, a hidden feature which not a lot of people know is uh, when you are creating this and before leaving the cursor just press your arrow keys if you press the down arrow key it will create a triangle if you keep pressing the up arrow key and you press it again and again it will create a snowball <laughs> so it will create a very interesting shape and you can just go on and on till the end until you create something crazy like this or you can just settle with something much simpler uh, but not too simple as well yeah something like this like a sun uh, and this you can further customizing it by 
uh, increasing the corners and there is a lot more to it but that's how you can create some interesting and unique shapes which are not there in front of you but you can always customize it by changing the shape size of it so hopefully you have learned at least one new thing today and if you have i would advise you to open illustrator right now and try any one of these tools which you didn't know before because practice is the best way to learn and please let me know in the comments what's your favorite tool in adobe illustrator and which one you use the most thanks a lot for watching please leave a like on this video because it's gonna help me a lot see you in the next video